Hello adventurers! Welcome back to the channel once again. Today I bring updates on what has been discussed in the past few days about Hytale. Let's see what our dear John Hendricks responded and talk about the expectations for the coming months. So get ready and join me to learn the latest news about Hytale. Before we begin, as always, if you're new here or haven't subscribed yet, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and activate the notification bell so you won't miss any videos. Your support is very important to encourage us to keep bringing Hytale content. Let's start with a very intriguing question that a fan asked John on Twitter. This fan tried to extract some information about the release date. Let's see what he asked. Hey John, maybe you could give us a clue about Hytale's possible release window. It's was in development, hell isn't wasn't it? John responded immediately, we have not been in dev hell during the time I have been on the project. We've been working hard on a big game. Last year was all about bringing the new engine in-house, getting our system set back up, and the team ready. I am looking forward to sharing more about our production process and roadmap in the future. Then, another user asked, To have realistic expectations, can we expect the roadmap to be shared this year? John tried to clarify, being realistic. I learned my lesson with the last blog post. From now on, we'll surprise with the bigger updates. It was clear that he dodged as much as he could and made it clear that major revelations will only be made in the next blog post. In a way, he has avoided answering some questions as he did before. I think he's saving the best answers to be addressed in the official Ask Hytail section, which should be positive. However, in recent days, we've been eagerly awaiting content and news to bring to you. We expected to have more content after the start of the section. However, the responses coming out via Twitter have been infrequent. John Hendricks, although still answering some questions, has avoided giving away major spoilers. An example of this was the short and direct response to a user who questioned him with the following question. Ask Hytale. Have you considered adding interactive movable block structures to Hytale? John was emphatic and responded with a resounding yes. A fairly direct but somehow encouraging response. Well, if he has really considered the possibility of movable and interactive blocks, perhaps we can count on that in Hytale. It would be incredible and would further increase the game's possibilities. I confess that this response made me curious to know how this mechanic would work in practice. We just have to wait, who knows if it's something they can release in the next blog. Now, let's move on to the expectations for the coming months. As I said, they have answered few questions outside the official section designated to answer them. Of course it's a strategy, but few answers have come out in total. They only answered a few questions. We thought it would be more frequent, but I still hope they can release several answers in the coming weeks. We'll be ready to bring them all here to the channel. I think they should release a new blog in April, as they promised to be more frequent. I believe external testing may start soon for some lucky ones. We eagerly await more news. So that's it, adventurers. We've reached the end of another news update. I hope my next video from the section will have more exciting news. This game promises a lot, and we're ready to inform fans of this wonder, just like us. If you liked the video, give it a like to help us, and if you can, leave suggestions for videos you'd like to see on the channel in the comments, because I want to go back to daily videos. Would that be a good idea, right? Share this video with your friends and be prepared, because we'll be back soon with another video on the channel. Until next time, adventurers.